guys. So I ordered a couple of these fender stripes, the uh, red here and some black. I'll probably end up with black, but I did the red just to kind of, you know, make sure I don't make any mistakes and it turned out really good. So uh, I didn't video that because it's just vinyl and we did the whole vinyl roof. So we did a whole episode on that. We also did another vinyl hood of a friend's uh, Speed 3 the other day. So nobody wants to see that. So it's basically just slap it on, take your, uh, take your uh, uh, squeegee and trim it out. So, and then you just make sure the center line is straight. I've got it on this side. And as you can see, I've got a matching one on this side. But what I also have is this splitter. So I picked this splitter up off of eBay. Um, it's a little bright out here, but I picked this uh, splitter up off of eBay. It's just a uh, ABS plastic. Uh, I've already done a few things. One, I've already unbolted this piece here. It's uh, three bolts. I've done that on both sides, this side and this side. And then I've removed these pieces. So these pieces have to be removed. They're the pieces that uh, fit here and on the opposing side. They have to come out, they come out with three screws. One there, one there, and one there. And then two or three clips. One there, one there, and one there. And then these little prongs just pop out. So had to remove those first to uh, install the splitter. Now it came with uh, eight screws and eight screws is not gonna be as uh, enough. And it also did not come with drilled holes. So you're gonna wanna drill those holes, but it does give you a guideline for where to drill them. So um, we're gonna, we're gonna test fit it in the center and then on the two corners and then go from there. Since I don't think eight screws, nine screws, whatever is gonna be enough, went to my local Walmart. I picked up some uh, 3M double-sided automotive tape to, um, you know, double up on the protection, keep it from coming off. Also picked up these 32 by one and one quarter uh, machine screws with uh, included nuts and. Uh, these guys here, these little shims, to uh, or washers to keep them from uh, stripping at uh, higher speeds. Okay, so I learned a few things. Thing number one, I did have to jack up the car. It's funny what kind of mistakes you make when you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so I've lightly bolted this side with the screws that were supplied. I actually used a very good bolt for this one so it's not going anywhere then over here I've uh, like I said earlier loosened this up so I can actually get in here and thread these bolts that I'm gonna be using and uh, you can see I've done 3m tape and I definitely I don't know if that was a previous owner or me but somebody scratched that up pretty good the splitter will hide half of this this I'll just touch up paint, but um, yeah, 3M paint, uh, 3M tape on the bottom, major bolt in the center, my adopted cat, and uh, we'll go from there. What's up, dude? Okay, so if you guys can see up under here, I have replaced where the stock screws, not the stock screws, but the screws that came with the splitter, uh, with this guy, this guy, that guy and that guy so nice and strong now not going anywhere not going anywhere now because i've replaced those screws that one that one that one and one up under here right there and it actually gave me a couple more bolt holes here and there so we'll be adding a couple more screws but for now let's do this side and also on this side I did the uh, 3m tape before I put the uh, bolts in so uh, this guy is super strong not going anywhere center is super strong not going anywhere bumper will move before it does so 
uh, much better than previous, which uh, the stock screws, I'm just going to show you here. The stock screws, if you hit a big bump or if, uh, say, you ground it, say, not great. I mean, they hold on pretty good here, but that one, that one's already coming loose. Okay, so we're all done with the splitter. We're also all done with the vinyl. Is a little dirty, but what do you guys think? I think that turned out really, really good. And although the red was just a test, I think I'm gonna leave the red for a while. But that that splitter turned out really nice. I am going to add some extra screws, get it locked down a little bit better than the ones that they provided. But, um, yeah. Very content. Very content. This car is finally, finally starting to come together. So, what have we done? We've Plasti dip, the rear valance. We have done the Evil M. We've done window tint, some stickers. Aftermarket wheels were already on it, but we painted the uh, brake calipers red. More aftermarket stickers, more window tint. We did the uh, roof in the carbon uh, wrap. The red vinyl striping. Uh, Plasti dipped uh, eyelids, um, dark tinted uh, driving light vinyl, and then the uh, the splitter, and of course plasti dipped that front front emblem. But uh, yeah, so that's aesthetically that's all that's done to it, and um, even though that's not really a lot aesthetically. I think it made a really, really big difference. I know it's dirty right now, I apologize for the tires, but uh, yeah, cleaned off the area that needed to be cleaned off and uh, put those on. But I think, uh, I think I'm think i happy with it. I think the red is gonna stay for a while. I'm, I'm probably eventually gonna do those black, at least one of the two. Maybe the front one black, back one red, or Maybe both black, but for now, for now, yeah, we have a we have a functioning splitter. We have some more vinyl. Yeah, super, super content with it. My advice, guys, though, seriously, use the self-tapping screws to screw your holes in, but then use some bolts. All cleaned up. I think that splitter especially made a huge difference. Of course. Oh, hey, here's Buddy. Still gotta come up with a better name for him. He is super happy right now. I am not, because I've been working on this all day. But, what do you think, guys? I think it turned out good. All right, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this upload. Me and Buddy are gonna take a nap because uh, both of us been working hard. You want down? All right. Y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.